Did you know if the queen bee dies in a honeybee hive, the workers, the female bees, can create a new queen bee? They do this by selecting a young larva and feeding it special food called royal jelly. The larva will develop into a fertile queen bee. Hi and welcome to the B3 example problems. In B3 we're going to look at our second five pair that is three and two and how we can use that with our five pair addition rule. So let's jump into this problem and we'll start by adding three and then next I need to add three more. Well as you can see I only have one earthly bead available which is not enough but I do have the five also available. Well, that's our condition for the five pair addition rule. So I add five, and then I'm going to subtract three's 10 pair, or sorry, five pair, which is two. Let's take a look at that again. So if I wanna add three to three, I don't have enough earthly beads to do it directly, but I do have the five bead. So that is our condition for our five pair addition. We add five and subtract threes, five pair, two. Let's continue on. And now we're gonna subtract four. Well, that's interesting. I have six on the abacus, but I only have one earthly bead, which is not enough to subtract four directly, but I can use my five pair subtraction rule. So, I subtract five and then I add fours, five pair one. Next, I'm gonna add nine. Well, I don't have enough beads on the target rod, that's a 10 pair. Add one to the next rod left and subtract nine's 10 pair one. And finally, add seven to the target rod for a final answer of 18. So that was a pretty interesting problem there. Let's try a second one. We'll add five. Next, we'll add three. Then we'll add nine. Well, I only have one bead available. That's our 10 pair. Add one to the next rod left and subtract nine's 10 pair one. Next, I'm going to add five. Well, I only have two beads available. That's another 10 pair. I add one to the next rod left and subtract fives, 10 pair, which is also five. And then finally, I'm going to add three. Well, as you can see, I only have two earthly beads, but I also have the five beads. So that's our five pair addition rule. We add five and we subtract threes, 10 pair two, or sorry, five pair two. For a final answer of 25. So there you have some examples using the five pair three and two with our five pair addition rule. Good luck with your training. Hi, and welcome to the B3 finger movement example. In this example, we're going to look at adding three to three. So again, we're gonna need to use our five pair addition rule because we only have one earthly bead available. So to add three, we're going to add five and then subtract three's five pair, which is two from the three earthly beads for an answer of six. So again, let's look at that finger movement. To add three, we simply add five with our index finger and then subtract two, three's five pair for the answer of six.